Hi everybody, I'm State Senator Tracy McCreary. Thanks for tuning in to my veto session update. It's kind of unusual that the Missouri Legislature convened in Jefferson City uh, this week. Uh, it is of constitutionally mandated that we all gather in the state capitol in mid-September. Only line items, only line item vetoes were made this year by the governor and no veto overrides took place. So everything signed or vetoed still stands as it was before veto session. This week there were a couple of times to celebrate outgoing Missouri state senators. We have 10 state senators that are moving onto other offices or moving on to other things. Uh, the ceremonies were beautiful and I hope everybody, I truly mean this, I hope all of the uh, retiring senators have um, nothing but peace and happiness and joy in whatever is next for them. Uh, we had some really good news from the Missouri Supreme Court on Tuesday. The Supreme Court declared that Amendment 3 will be able to stay on the November 5th ballot. Amendment 3 is a, 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 a citizens put it on through the initiative petition process. Amendment 3, if you vote yes on that, it will end Missouri's abortion ban. And just a reminder, Missouri was the first state in the nation to ban abortion after the Dobbs decision happened in uh, 2022. So by voting yes on Amendment 3, you can take control over your reproductive health care and keep politicians out of your private decisions as it relates to reproductive health care. So uh, Amendment 3 will be on the ballot November 5th. I urge everybody to vote yes on that. If you want to learn more about the language that will go into the Constitution and what you'll see on your ballot, you can go to website moconstitutionalfreedom.org. That's moconstitutionalfreedom.org. Also, I, um, the elections, the general election is fast approaching. I encourage all of you to check your voter registration at the Missouri Secretary of State's office. It's very easy to do online. If you think you're registered, it never hurts to just double check that you're still registered. And of course, there's still a few weeks left for people to register to vote. If by chance you have people in your life that are not registered to vote, there's still time to do that. And you can learn more again at the Missouri Secretary of State's website. So thank you so much for tuning in. And I guess uh, I will be back in touch in January when session reconvenes.